All right, well, after being furloughed from two jobs in one week because of the pandemic, one Idaho baker is using sourdough starter for her own fresh start. In today's Idaho Rebound report, our Frankie Catafias tells us how a local woman found success doing what she loves. Out of work with no sign of unemployment assistance coming her way, in 2020, Meredith Hodge started baking bread. I had a bread business in San Diego, and I always travel with Phyllis, my starter. And so she rehydrated her friend Phyllis and began rolling in the dough. I started doing pop-ups out, um, out in front of the kitchen on the weekends with a couple other people that were in the kitchen. And just people started finding out about the sourdough bread and kept coming back every weekend. and. I still have those customers are still coming to us today. After realizing she needed a bigger space to continue growing, Meredith met a friend who quickly turned into a business partner. Seeing somebody who had a great product, trying it, and she said, I want my business to work. And I said, watch what you ask for. That's it. Almost all of Meredith's baked goods are sourdough based and because of her high quality starter, each product is gut friendly. People ask me all the time, if I'm celiac, can I eat this? And I say, there are so many different levels of celiac and sensitivities and things like that. I can't say, yes, you can. I have to just say, you know, you're, you can try it and try a little bit and see if it bothers you. Both Jeannie and Meredith have gluten intolerances and to them, business is more than just baking bread. It's about breaking it. I think one of the coolest things is that, um, and you know, our customers say it all the time, you know, we're so grateful that we can actually enjoy baked goods again, you know, and that's what it's all about. In Meridian, I'm Frankie Catafias for Idaho News 6. And today at Wild Phyllis, several local businesses like Bubbly Bar, Boise, Magpie Foundry, and Idaho Glamping, they're all going to take part in a special feature Friday. Then tomorrow, the bakery is offering a special in-house menu for Mother's Day weekend. Both events are happening from 11 to 3 o'clock.